What is going on guys? It is Foreign and welcome back to Project Squid Grip After Effects Tutorials stuff. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. Uh, so we're going to be closing out this this tutorial finally. Um, and what we're basically going to include is the contact information for Squid Grips along with links to their Twitter, YouTube, that sort of thing. Um, so that Basically, like once it gets to the end of that, people can see that and they can be like, oh, okay, I'll go follow them on Twitter, I'll go check out their YouTube, I'll go to their website, buy a product, you know, something along those lines. Basically, it's it's like the, the actual call to action. Uh, the inside is the, the meat and potatoes, the, the information, and now we're going to get into the actual closing. So now we're going to animate all this stuff off, we're going to get this all to go away, we're going to bring back in the logo, and then that's... That's pretty much it. So, so let's let's get this going. Let's uh, first off, I think we're just going to we'll we're just going to adjust the position on these. So we'll select one of them, and what we're gonna uh, a technique that I like to use uh, it's called parenting. Basically, you're attaching a specific layer to another layer's properties. So if I parent one object to the other so this is the parent object and it moves to the right and this is the child object that object will also move to the right with it without having to adjust um, keyframes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new null object because I, I like to use null objects uh, null object is basically just an object that has nothing to it whatsoever um, and it's used primarily for this reason to move things so what we're going to do is we're, we have our null, and we're going to select our videos, which is this pre-composition. Uh, we're also going to select the black and gray, and now we're going to parent them to our null object. So now we're only going to adjust the position keyframes from the null object. So anyways, sorry about that, someone came up here, I had to talk to him for a second. Uh, so we're going to actually just worry about the position keyframe for the null object so we're gonna set our keyframe at the beginning of where it is we'll, we'll move it over a bit um, not too much because we're probably gonna end up just extending this out it doesn't really matter uh, and we're gonna go about a second and then we're just gonna swipe it off simple as that so now that's out of the way um, and now you'll notice that our videos actually just kinda oh maybe they don't Never mind, our videos don't actually just pop off because I have extended it enough. I think. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, awesome. So we don't have to adjust that. Before, we might have had to adjust the length of the actual videos, but we don't have to do that anymore. So we've swiped that off. Now we are going to parent all of the text. Uh, we're going to move this text layer down with these ones. We're going to parent all of our text to our black solid. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to we're going to create a new null object. We have our new null object. We're going to take all of these layers, and now we're going to use our little pick whip and parent it to this null object. And now we're going to do position, keyframe, and that's where we're starting from. And we're basically going to swipe it down. Uh, we're actually going to also include these. So they're going to swipe with it. Um, you can also go over here and select them just fine. So we have it selected, and now these are just going to swipe down until they are completely out of the frame. And there we have it. So now we have all that stuff disappear. And now we're going to have our final information come on. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to repeat the beginning we're gonna repeat the beginning uh, animation so we'll just duplicate this hit U to bring up our different keyframes We'll bring this all the way to the top so we hit U here are our keyframes we're gonna select them and we are going to time reverse them so basically now it's going to go in reverse order and it will appear accordingly. 
Um, but we're gonna we're gonna actually move our transparency because we want the transparency to come on sooner, and then it slams into place. Um, and then we'll we'll ease in this keyframe so that it doesn't come in suddenly and just stop. So it actually kind of slowly comes in. So we have our squid grips. Um, what sort of information are we gonna add? So we're gonna add the YouTube link. So we'll do, um, we'll just, we'll, we'll type it out for now, but in the final product, I will be more prepared and I'll have actual logos for each of these. So YouTube dot, fuck, dot com backslash squid grip. I think it's just squid grip. Let me let me actually just double check. I should have it still open, and I don't. <clears throat> it should just be Squid Grip. I'm sorry that my phone keeps going off. I I meant um. I uh, sent out a oh it is it's Squid Grips. Okay, so Squid Grips. I posted a link to a video that I thought was hilarious, and a lot of people are tweeting about it now. So we have youtube.com slash squid grips. And then we're gonna duplicate that and we'll move this one to the center. And we'll do Twitter. Twitter.com backslash squid grip. And then we'll also do Ah, command duplicate. And then we'll also do Facebook, which should also be Squid Grip. So we have all of our things right here. Uh, we're gonna adjust them so that they, they fit accordingly. And then they also wanted me to do an additional thing, which was hashtag stop naked controller abuse, I think it was. Um, let me just check my Twitter quick and it's not in there so <clears throat> I think it's stop naked controller abuse stop naked controller abuse so it's kind of just like a little clever quip that they can do um, pertaining to their controllers. So stop naked controller abuse. Um, and then we'll actually, we'll go to the alignment. We'll make sure that it's centered like so. So it's, <clears throat> oh, sorry. So it's really simple. This is what we're gonna end on. There's not much to it. Um, there doesn't need to be much to it. Uh, we're actually gonna adjust its position. We want it to come in a little bit higher and we want our stop controller abuse a little bit below it and we will scale it in a bit damn it i forgot that i have it set to left justified uh but that doesn't really matter so so there we go we have our little final slate that we're gonna have and we're basically gonna animate all this stuff in so we'll animate its position like so uh, that's our end keyframe, and now where we want it to start is we want it to actually pop up. And they're going to go in order, so we'll have the YouTube go first, followed by Twitter, followed by Facebook. Um, and then also, I think that these are this is going to be too slow of an animation for how far they're moving, so we're going to just scale them in just a little bit so that they come up. Boop, boop, boop. And as this passes, like so, we're gonna adjust its transparency. So go with 100% and we'll move that over to where we want it at 100, zero. And there we have it. I mean, you guys don't need to do things that are super, super difficult to create something that's very simple. Um, this is just trying to it's trying to get the point across which it's doing um, we're actually gonna 
start this stuff a little bit sooner. So we'll start it a little bit sooner so that it happens as the other stuff is happening. So that you're not sitting on black frames for a long time. Uh, and then just a really simple thing that I like to do at the end of all my videos. I like to create an extra solid black. And then we're just going to adjust its opacity. And it'll go from 100% at the way end because we want it to fade to black. And at, what is that, 1907? <clears throat> 19 seconds and 7 frames. Uh, then we'll make it zero, so then it has just a nice fade to black. So that's all we really have for this. Uh, it's super simple. Um, I will create one more video that is explaining render settings and that sort of stuff so that you guys can then make your own videos and then render them out properly for what you need them for. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, that's really all I have time for. Oh, don't forget to save. I almost, I almost always forget to save, but this time I did not forget to save. So anyways, I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.